What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Cubewack here, and buckle in because you are in for yet another Cubewack doesn't do anything in a very long time and then makes an update video about it. <laughs> um, what's been going on? What's been going on? Uh, nothing much, really. I've just kind of fallen out of my grind on YouTube, and I was focusing on a lot of other things at the same time. Uh, with my music, I've been writing a lot, not recording as much as I'd like to, I've been doing Uber Eats and making money, and I have got a crippling addiction to the game RuneScape once more, like, double XP weekend just passed, you know I no lifed it, it was a mess. But okay, we ran some polls on the channel, and I do want to bring content back, and I really want to make videos and streams and, or something, you know? So I have found a way, or a way that I believe to be a way, to make content once more while, um, you know, not doing too much, not diving too deep into it to the point where I get burnt out in a week or anything like that. Trying to keep laid back about it, but I want to be consistently laid back, if that makes sense. So, uh, the first thing I do want to talk about is the polls that we ran in the community tab not long ago. You could go check those out still. I don't know how long it lets you vote on them, maybe forever. But um, definitely go and check those out. Comment on this video as well as those. And continue answering the questions I asked in the polls because I still want to know. I still want to know from as many people as I can what you guys think as well. It was two different polls. One poll pertaining to what specifically do you want to see? But generally the answer of these polls was that you guys want more streams and less recorded content you guys do not want stuff that is not Pokemon too much and one poll pertaining to um, should we bring back our non Pokemon content to twitch which was meaning Kingdom Hearts at the time uh, but people said no to that people said no to bringing non Pokemon back to twitch but that was also the thing they wanted to see the least of it's kind of like a weird middle ground you know I don't know if that was the least recorded videos might have been the least but um it's definitely kind of like a weird a weird thing and running both of those polls definitely opened up the thing people are trying to say and I think that is we enjoy all your content but we would prefer Pokemon streams but if you're going to do streams that are not Pokemon keep that on YouTube we like seeing that too that was my interpretation of it so, whatever your interpretation or how you feel about it, um, exactly, if you could make it down to something like that, whereas, I enjoy this the most, but I also enjoy this, or I enjoy these equally, give me something like that. I like hearing that stuff, and I don't really think it's going to affect what happens too much, but I do like hearing it. So, let's get into the actual content. So, the first thing I want to talk about is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Obviously, we have not started a series on that, um, and to be honest with you, we're not going to be able to start a series on that until probably around Christmas time, probably after Christmas, to be honest. Money's tight. I do Uber Eats as a job. I just drive around and deliver food. The main reason I do that, even though it's not the most money in the world, is I enjoy it. I actually enjoy it. I do not mind doing it. And it is, uh, it's good for me. It's good for my mental compared to the last job I was working. It is a way of me obtaining income. That is literally not a scratch, not a hair off my back, whatever the, however the phrase goes. Bring that back. Bring that back to Let's Go. So, Let's Go. We will be doing a Let's Play of it. But it will be when I get the game, which will once again be around Christmas time. With this Let's Play, um, I thought about it, but I have never done a live Let's Play to a Pokemon game as soon as I get it. I can't say day one, but day one for me. That is going to be what we do. When I get Let's Go, I am going to do a live Let's Play here on the channel of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, whichever one I end up getting. And it is going to be a lot of fun, I think. I was thinking about recording and uploading this series, but... Considering we are going to be a month late to the party, um, I, it, it's just going to drag on on the channel if I record and upload it. Because obviously you don't get as much done in a 30 minute video as opposed to a stream that you could stretch to an indefinite amount of time, however long you want. So we are definitely going to live Let's Play it, probably be done with it really quick. And that brings me to our next topic of the 
<clears throat> list of stuff we're doing. So, Kingdom Hearts, something I gotta talk about, even though I know a lot of you might not be watching it, might not be into it compared to the Pokemon content. This is something that's on the channel and people watch it, so I have to talk about this. I apologize if you don't care. But Kingdom Hearts, we are going to try to finish streaming Kingdom Hearts 1 before January 29th. That's an easy goal to hit. Before January 29th is a very easy goal to hit. We might do Kingdom Hearts 2 before we move forward, but we are definitely not getting every Kingdom Hearts game done before January 29th, as I hoped. On January 29th, we will be beginning a new recorded and uploaded Let's Play, not a streamed Let's Play, and I understand this might plummet and not do good on my channel at all. I understand that this could do really negative numbers to my channel, but considering I've waited for this game for over probably 10 years now, I, I don't even know the amount of years it's been since Kingdom Hearts 2, but I have waited for Kingdom Hearts 3 for a very long time. I've never been this hyped about a game. Kingdom Hearts 2 was my favorite game of all time. The Kingdom Hearts franchise is the only franchise that's on top of Pokemon and on top of every other franchise in the gaming industry for me. So with Kingdom Hearts 3 finally coming out, a game I've been hoping for and wishing for since literally 2008 maybe, like yeah, 10 years ago. Um, that's finally gonna be here on January 29th, 2019. And when that's here, I will be getting that game day one. Nothing is stopping me. I don't care. I don't care. That game means way too much to me. And we're going to record and upload that series um, pretty speedy, probably. It's going to be a very... I don't know. We're going to see how we do it. We might stretch it out and do Pokemon content, too, just to not completely kill the channel. But that's still up in the air. But basically, um, Kingdom Hearts 3, there is no doubt in my mind that that will be a day one Let's Play on the channel. The reason I am not streaming it, because if somebody in the chat decides to be a jerk, decides to spoil something, decides to just kill the vibe, you know? If I'm, if I'm streaming the game, or having a great time streaming, and then there's just that one troll that shows up, and it's just over the top rude, you know, and and let's say it's late at night because the game just dropped a few hours ago and I'm tired and it gets to me. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. Next, RuneScape. I talked about that a little earlier, I mentioned it. Um, RuneScape is a game that I've been playing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Double XP weekend just passed. It's a very grindy game. If you're unaware of what kind of game it is, or uh, what RuneScape is, it is a slow game, but for me, it is a stress-relieving, relaxing game because of the simplicity behind it at the same time. Uh, I've been playing this game also for over 10 years now, uh, the longest game that I've consistently played ever, and I think what we're going to start doing with RuneScape, due to the sheer amount of how much I play that game every single day. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that to Twitch. Twitch is not dying for me. It's already dead. But I'm not going to just look at all this content I want to make and say, okay, YouTube, 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 YouTube. Because then we have a channel that is going from a Pokemon-centric channel to a variety channel, and SEO will hate us, sub boxes might hate us, and it's a lot of headache with YouTube's algorithms and nonsense when twitch i don't i twitch is easier because i'm not really worried about the seo as it is but if i could choose not to destroy it i would you know if that makes sense uh but twitch is fine for runescape because to be completely honest runescape for people who are looking for like high action streams streams of a potential of a shiny reaction runescape isn't going to be your game runescape is going to be boring for you RuneScape, we are going to be having just some chill Twitch streams. Um, these streams might stretch for very several hours over the nighttime of my area when I'm just, you know, chilling playing RuneScape at night and I feel like streaming it. Um, these, it, it's going to be a majority of where you could find me on the internet. And a uh, big part of that too, which I wanted to mention for people who do not care about that game, is for the people that do say they miss me, you know, miss my content, and not just you know pokemon from me that is a way you could communicate with me and talk to me and hang out with me and probably have more attention than usual because less people will be there if you do want to hang out with me and talk in a chat stream like we have so long ago so consistently um unfortunately if you don't like runescape there's going to be a lot of runescape streams to do that at just to put that out there moving on 
So next up, we're going to very quickly talk about the series that are already on the channel um, and what is going to happen if those, how those are going to transition into this new stuff I have just talked about, these new series. Um, and that is, first off, Soul Link. Soul Link, we have no intention of stopping anytime soon. Obviously, we are coming to an end in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We have just achieved the legendary encounters, and we are right before the 8th gym. So, we are definitely going to dive in um, to the 8th gym and beat that game probably in like a couple weeks' time. It's going to be done very soon for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We have not discussed... Um, necessarily where we're gonna go we we, ugh. we already have discussed what game we want to do next and stuff like that but we have not discussed exactly when we are going to start it uh, moving on from soul link though because that has no intention of stopping nothing should be different of that at all white 2 randomized chain monologue a series that I started with unbelievable hype to play it I was really excited for that series and through the process of me kind of falling off of YouTube, um, I fell off of White 2 as well. That series, I do intend to finish. I understand the numbers on that series aren't going to do great for the rest of it, because they already haven't done great when I brought it back once, and now we are going to be bringing it back again, and it's probably going to flop for the rest of the series, and that's fine. I'm enjoying the series a lot, and when I enjoy something, I typically make solid content out of it. Um, so White 2, I do intend on finishing, but uh, White 2 will be our final recorded content in the foreseeable future outside of Kingdom Hearts 3, and that is because that was very lowly voted upon on our polls, and, you know, I'm trying to find a way to bring the workload down, and even though I do enjoy recorded videos, and it's, I, I know it's going to come back eventually, I'm going to get the urge to do a recorded Nuzlocke, um, we're gonna just sit it out for now so that we could focus on other things that you guys want to see and it, I want to do. I want to do it all. So I'm just trying to find the things I can cut out, you know, if that makes sense. Next up, shiny hunting. Um, nothing really to say on the topic of shiny hunting besides we will still be in 7th gen for the moment. We will still be doing Ultra Sun and Moon shiny hunts. Um... For now, we are going to look into maybe, you know, you guys could help me out with this. We could go into older games. We could go to virtual console games. We could do something like that, you know. We are not going to be shiny hunting on Let's Go too much because whenever I do get Let's Go, shiny hunting in that game is very, very, very dumbed down compared to SOS hunting or even Masuda. In that game, you literally have to stand there and wait, from my understanding. I'll look into it, but we'll see. We'll see. We're going to be shiny hunting more often, is the big thing. Is um, I just want to shiny hunt more. That That's the main thing I wanted to say, uh, regardless of how we do it. And then, the final way, the way I want to wrap up and end this video, is talking about where I see this taking us in the long term. What the long term plan of this entire thing is because right now um as an overlook of the plan we got a whole bunch of this is what we're about to do this is what we're finishing up shiny hunting that that's what the plan looks like right now uh to be honest and i get that and i really do get that and there has to be a long term here you know because right now it sounds like Okay, we finished the series before the end of the year, and we get nothing in January until Kingdom Hearts 3, except maybe Kingdom Hearts 1, you know? That's that's right now where it kind of sounds like in my own head, and I'm the one who devised the plan. So, to put it all in retrospect and give you the long term, um, the long term of this is just to stream more on both YouTube and Twitch, and just to have fun. Um, that is the long-term goal here. I know that's not very specific, but that is what it is. It's not a very specific goal. Once we wrap up some of our currently ongoing projects, we will start looking into what we want to do next, and that includes live Pokemon Let's Plays and stuff like that. Maybe this is the one question I would like you to add, answer if you've made it this far into the video, and that is, would you like to see the Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer Let's Play return until Let's Go comes out? 
because we could bring that back. It's just, I don't know how I feel about that series. It's very slow. Uh, we could also do something completely different. We could do a wonder lock if we really wanted to. We could do a live egg lock. I don't know. Comment your suggestions on what you'd want to see Pokemon wise until let's go and then hopefully let's go last us a little bit and then uh, yeah we'll just go from there but as always guys uh, that is going to wrap up this video hopefully I said everything I need to say I'm going to edit this down and hopefully make it half the length of how long it actually is but if you guys did enjoy this nice little update video please make sure to let me know once again in the comments and give me some answers to the questions I have asked I would Greatly appreciate it. Community tab is there. I will be running more polls. Just so you are aware, you can check that every now and then to see if I am asking you guys for input. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for us today. White 2. Um, you know what? Let's just get crazy and say that's coming back sometime this week. This is the week of Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! Uh, <laughs> But let's say Y2 is coming back sometime this week. Shiny hunting as well. Kingdom Hearts, no clue exactly. And Soul Link never left. All right, I'm going to get out of here. As always, my name is Kubowak. I am signing out. And I will catch all of you amazing, beautiful human beings in the next one. Peace! Jump around and play, but I'm from a play. Jumping up and down, but I'm not around.